Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and we're gonna be looking at the ROI bands, the return on investment bands, the amount of time it takes to actually 2X your investment up to 100X with Bitcoin, okay? So we're not projecting anything out, we're just looking into the past. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So this is the price of Bitcoin. You guys recognize that logarithmic scale. Uh, you guys know what that is by now. What are we talking about when we talk about ROI bands? What does that mean? We've talked about this on the channel before. Here's the way we visualize it. ROI time in days. This is the amount of time it takes to 2x your investment had you bought it on the same vertical line as the price. So if you bought it here, if you bought Bitcoin here, it would have taken you well over 2,500 days to two X your money because you're essentially buying it at the top. You FOMO it in at the top. You had to live through the bear market. But good news for you is that eventually that two X came. And also you can see that we've also since reached a point where a two X was possible from the prior top because we know the prior top was just shy of $20,000 and, and this cycle so far, we've gone to a modest 61,000 give or take, okay? So what do we notice? What are some key takeaways from a chart like this? Well, it does show that the ROI time in days, at least from the bottom, takes longer and longer, right? So we're generally seeing the amount of time it takes to 2X your investment, at least at the minimum time, is getting a little bit longer, right? In the first cycle, I mean, you could have waited a matter of uh, days to two exit. Over here, you're talking about maybe a week back in 2013 uh, during some of these parabolic moves. In this cycle, the, the quickest amount of time you could have two X your investment was right here, uh, coming in just above say 10 to 15 days or so. So it would have been basically buying it at one of these major dips and then watching it go up two X over the next several weeks. And then so far this cycle, the shortest amount of time it would have taken to 2x your investment in Bitcoin is just over 20 days, okay? And that would have happened had you bought Bitcoin right here. Right before liftoff, when it dropped back down to 10K, we then know it, it went up to 20K in fairly short order, fairly short order. We actually know that some of these prices in here actually went below 20K or below 10K slightly, around 9,900 or so. 9,800, somewhere in that ballpark. So interesting chart, right? Interesting chart to visualize. And and you can see that each cycle, we sort of have a, uh, several of these bands, right? So this cycle here, we have several bands put together. This one, we have other bands as well. The next market cycle, we have several bands because, you know, if you buy it over here, the amount of time to 2X might not take that long, but then you continue along the market cycle and you say, okay, well, how, how long did it take to 2X from here? And you look here and you go over and you see, oh, 200 days. Okay, so you can continue on in this fashion. Now, a lot of people aren't gonna get out of bed for a 2X. Um, that's why we look at longer ones as well. So this shows 2X, 4X, 6, 8, 10, 20, 50, and a modest 100X on your investment in Bitcoin. It's a little bit noisy, let's clean it up. Let's look at 2, 10, 50, and 100. 100 is the light blue that you see. What do you notice? The bands are sort of, they're, 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 the slope is, is leveling out. The amount of time it takes as well to see a 100X is getting very, very long. Okay, so for instance, this band over here, you can see the amount of time it takes to 100X would have been maybe a couple hundred days or so. The next cycle, we have a band. If you had been buying in this region, it would have taken several hundred days for the most part. And then over here, you're getting into a thousand days. And then over here, you're getting into several thousand days with some of them coming in still just over one to uh, 1,000 to 2,000 days. I imagine the amount of time to 100X from some of these future points. So like in order to say 100X from this data point, Bitcoin, we need to go to $200,000 because we know this was at a, a $20,000 valuation or so. The amount of time that will be needed to take that, we'll have to see these play out. What do you notice though? The bands are sort of leveling off as we go out, right? So as we continue to move through each cycle, the bands, the slope is not quite as steep and they're leveling off with time. What does that generally mean? Well, it means the amount of time needed to experience significant returns like 10x and 50x 
as we continue on with Bitcoin, it's going to take longer to see a 50X, going to take longer to see a 10X, 100X, et cetera. It's going to take a lot longer to realize those types of, of, of returns. 100X from here for Bitcoin is would be over $5 million. Obviously, that is so far off in the distance. It's not even worth discussing right now. We still haven't even put in 100X from some of the data points from the last market cycle. Forget this market cycle, right? Forget this one. We haven't put some we haven't put 100x returns on some data points from the last market cycle. And the ones where you will see 100x so far is when people were still buying Bitcoin at $600 and then today we know that we just went to about $60,000 a week or two ago. Okay, so that was 100x buying it during say the accumulation phase of last cycle was able to yield a 100x in the bull market of this cycle, but not in the prior bull market. What does that imply? Well, it probably would imply that buying, and in fact, the only time you would have seen a 100x last cycle, if you squint your eyes, there's a single blue data point. If you literally bought the bottom and sold the top of Bitcoin last cycle, you could have made 100x because we know it capitulated down to 176 and then it hit its all time high at just shy of $20,000. So basically one, maybe like one data point there where you could have realized 100x. What's the implication for Bitcoin this cycle? Well, the implication is that the likelihood of seeing Bitcoin go up 100x this market cycle is very low, okay? Even if you bought the, the very, very bottom, even if you bought at $3,100, the likelihood that you're able to sell that at approximately $310,000 is relatively low. You would have only been able to do it, I think, on one single day last cycle if you literally bought the bottom and sold the top. I'm not convinced we'll see a 100x from market cycle bottom to market cycle top this cycle. I think it will be reduced. Okay, hopefully this video has been informative. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Remember, we have the altcoin season sale that will end in um, just a few days on the last day for it will be March 31st. So on April 1st, the prices will go up and they will not reduce back down to these prices. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. But if you want the access to the premium content, go to go check out the, the description below for the link to the altcoin season sell. Check it out for the prices go up. You get access to the weekly videos, the weekly premium reports, the Telegram alerts channel and chat room, the risk dashboard, the Into the Cryptoverse app and the trading view indicators and more. So go check it out. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. Subscribe. Let's go for 300,000 subscribers. Turn on your notifications. I will see you next time. Bye.